third floor copier is working so well, so I'm just getting them all done this morning. Happy day. In case you're wondering what we're doing this week, we're doing the mole in seventh grade and reviewing ionic and covalent bonding. The Lewis dot structure in the sixth grade and starting to review the same in seventh. So fun times, yes. Whoa, we're having a nice rain. You can't even see the mountains. It's come a flood. I'm doing Amish countryside today. They're still out there. Mashed potatoes, so good. <laughs> Time for my after lunch Coke. And I want to show you this. This is one of those books that I was talking about that uh, you can get off of Taobao. You can see that it's not from the original publisher so you know what i'm saying i bought this one and i gave it to my coworker. i bought this one because i really needed it for school but i don't i don't like to buy this version um very often you know what i mean hey so i have a break on wednesdays from 11 15 to 2 30. it's really nice um just had my lunch as you saw I thought I would get a couple more questions answered so Terrell Eugene Ballinger says good luck thank you can you please explain the difference between rom-com and dark romance I have absolutely no earthly idea I don't read a lot of romance novels um, and when I do, it's with my romance novel reading buddies, and we tend to like Regency romance, and sometimes contemporary, but mostly Regency. Um, but I know who can answer this question. Cousin from Always Doing, I will link her below, and I will mention it to her, and maybe she can um, make a little video about the types of romance that are available in the world. That would be super interesting. Good question. Um, Terrell also asks, what really sparked your interest in traveling and how did you become a booktuber? So the booktuber bit, I um, was into scrapbooking and then journaling and pretty planners and hardcore planning um, for many years and had a YouTube channel for that purpose. And when I was watching YouTube channels about journaling um, and planning, I sometimes would see people, like videos that I found, they would talk about booktube. And I've always been a reader. So I was like, booktube, what is that? And I kept looking for this place called booktube. And eventually, um, I found out that booktube was an idea and it was a community, um, not really a place per se. So yeah, I just got into booktube from, um, those crossover, you know, people on booktube will make a random journaling video. So I found booktube that way and it was just serendipitous because I was needing a new hobby. I was kind of phasing out of my hardcore journaling phase phasing phase 
And so, yeah, it was just a great opportunity. Um, I was a little nervous for a couple months, but I'm just the kind of person that can't fully enjoy things if I'm not ac actively participating. So I dove right in pretty quickly and I'm, I'm glad I did. I've made so many amazing friends on this platform. So great question. And then the traveling, um, I, again, like we didn't travel much at all when I was a kid. Um, we just didn't really have a lot of extra um, money. Um, my older sister, they're all older than me, but the middle one, um, once she got married, she started um, taking my mother and I, she's nine years older than me, um, she started taking us on their summer trips to the mountains in you know Tennessee, North Carolina, that area. And you know, that was just fabulous. Um, I took a couple little trips with the Girl Scouts. I always had, you know, fantasized about, I don't know, fantasized. I, I really wanted to do the, those international travel packages when you're in high school, the trips abroad for the summer. But I don't know, we just didn't have that kind of money and, you know, extra money that I earned that I used for clothes and things. So, um, I always had the burning desire to travel, but not the means. And then when I got in college, I had more opportunities with my church. So, um, you know, we would go to seminars in different parts, you know, with the college campus ministry. So I got to go to some really fun places within the U.S. from that. Um, I did win a trip to Washington, D.C. with my local electric company when I was a junior in high school, so that was fun. So little by little, I got to travel um, more around the U.S. And then um, uh, a couple from my church at, at, in college, we had like, we called it an adopted student program where they would pair you up, college students that went to church there would pair you up with a family that went to church there. And I got really close to them, and they had been missionaries to Guatemala. Um, oh, I thought it was my coworker, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, she doesn't mind. Why do I get nervous? It's a reflex, right? So, where was I? Yes, so they had been missionaries to Guatemala and they knew about this school. It was a um, Christian school. Sorry, I'm not quite as comfortable around. <laughs> he's, he's my coworker next door. <laughs> These people are gonna think I'm crazy. Anyway, um, so anyway, they knew about this school. It was an interdenominational Christian school in Guatemala. So um, when I graduated with a degree in education, that was my first job, uh, was at this little school in Guatemala in the mountains. And that's where I met my guy, Brent, who I have um, reconnected with after 30 years and just love in life with him now. Um, I have a video about that somewhere. I'll try to link it if you haven't watched my romance video. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the romance. So, um, yeah, so I lived a year in Guatemala. And then um, when I moved back to the States, I eventually, like I was, I was exploring, you know. So I, I lived in Kentucky for a year after that. I'm from Florida originally, so... I love the first, did you want to know all this? <laughs> I lived the first 22 years of my life in Florida. Um, and then I lived a year in Kentucky. I did not love Kentucky, no offense to Kentucky, but it was just too cold. Um, so then I ended up moving to North Carolina um, and North Carolina is just God's country. It is gorgeous. Uh, I lived there for six years and during that time, my church there did a lot of uh, medical missions in um, North in, in Honduras. So, and I started going on those as a 
translator for Spanish and ended up living in Honduras for a year. Um, and then, yeah, I ended up in Tennessee after that for 21 years teaching ELL. And I think ELL is English language learners and you teach students from other countries that are uh, in your country learning English as their second language. And so I think through that also gives you this desire to explore, but it also assuaged, I've always had the desire to explore other countries. So like teaching these students has helped with that. Um, but yeah, did I cover it all? And now here I am in China, loving it. It's fabulous. Do I need to say anything more? Hmm. I think that's it. I love to travel. Oh, was there more to that? Oh, that's in the next question. I'll save that for later. Intermission. What can I say? I have a sweet tooth. Lychee fruit candy is so good. Little bug, little bug. Okay, so hopefully I won't get caught talking to my phone out here. Um, one more question for today, another travel related one. This is Heidi from My Reading Life. My question is, how many countries total have you traveled to in your lifetime and any places still on the bucket list? So um, I'm from the States, so that's one. <laughs> I haven't traveled, I've traveled in the States, so that counts. And, um, First place was Guatemala, obviously. I um, went to Mexico while in Guatemala, get my visa renewed. And I went to Puerto Rico to visit an old college friend um, after Guatemala. And Honduras, I told you about Honduras. Um, maybe that's it, I think, I think so. Um, and then China, here I am, wow, still here, <laughs> and Vietnam, you see me head to Vietnam, and next up is Canada, and any places still on your bucket list, for sure, so I really want to go to Thailand, um, I have an old student, a former student. I taught in the sixth grade, and then again, geometry in the eighth grade. I taught her biology in sixth grade, and then geometry in eighth grade, and um, got to be really close to the family, and uh, the mother was from Thailand, and the dad, they met at the University of North Carolina as doctoral students, and they're, little girl grew up and got her doctorate in biology and is now a professor in Thailand. And the dad retired and the whole family moved back there. And now she's got a little girl of her own and oh, she's an entomologist. Like I have got to go see her. So good, so good. Uh, other than that, um, here within China, we want to travel to Macau and Taiwan, um, Hong Kong, and then um, we want to do Europe. So we want to take Gabriel to Europe. He's wanting to do UK, Germany, and Scandinavian countries. Um, and then Brent wants to take me to Turkey and Greece. So, I mean, the world is my oyster now. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end it there for today. Thanks so much for watching and what day is it even? The 24th or something? I've got this. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.